In this video we're going to make it so when you press the key on the keyboard uh, an object will just jump around randomly. So first we're going to make our object that's going to jump around. Game object create other. I'm going to go with a capsule. Okay, We need to make it something that can tumble around so you add rigid body and I'm going to call it tumbler because it tumbles. So we go into assets, um, scripts, and right click, create, C sharp script. We're going to call it brownie in motion because that's what's happening. And open that up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in update, which happens every time there's a new picture on the screen, so like 60 times a second or so. We're going to see if input get get key down key code and I'm going to go with H. So if we pressed H, if we press H, then the stuff in here is is going to happen, and we don't need this. So if we press H, this code will happen. Well, what do I want to happen? Um, I want to get my rigid body, so I need a new variable of type. The type is rigid body, capital R. The name of our, our variable is RB, and I'm just going to get the component because we're going to attach Brownie in motion to our capsule. So it has the rigid body on it, but we just need to whoops, get access to it. And then from here, we're going to change the velocity to, let's start with 0, 5, 5. And let's see what happens there. So we're going to go back to Unity, click on our capsule, add Brownie in motion, press play, and we'll see what happens. So when I press H, it hops around but it always hops in the same direction. So back to the code. That's because I made it always hop zero in the x direction, five up and five uh, to the other side. So we actually want these numbers to be random. So what I'm gonna do, um, let's do it like that. I'm gonna also make a function just to show you guys a function. Um, get random value. Okay, so we have a new function called get random value. It's going to give us a float, which is like a decimal number, so 1 to 10 or something. So it's going to return, and the way you get a, a random number is random dot range from says the minimum and the max, so from 1 to 10. And now I'm going to use this function over here three times. Oops. Okay, so the way this is going to work, just like before I had 0, 5, 5, well, when this, when the code gets here, and I do open bracket, close bracket, this makes that function happen. It's going to come over here and it's going to give me a number from 1 to 10. So this will be a number from 1 to 10. It could be 3. It's going to do the same thing here. Well, maybe this one will become an 8 and then maybe this will become a 2. So then we would get 3, 8, 2. You know, it could be something else. Each time it will be different. So I save. Now, when I press H, you never know where it's going to go. Actually, it's, it's always positive. So, negative 10 to negative 10, that's better. And finally, let's just make a bunch. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So we have a bunch, and when I press H, they all just go anywhere they want. There you go.